Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel, and we're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. Thanks for staying tuned, because now we're going to be talking with Ride Connection, one of my favorite guests here at Metro East. Uh, representing Ride Connection, we have Trink Easterday. You are the Community Outreach Specialist. Yes, thank you. And Leslie Garth, the Transportation Coordinator out here in East County. Thanks yes. for being here. You have been here quite a few times, Leslie. Yes. And I'm always happy to see you here. Trink, you've not been on the show before. What, what exactly, um, well, first of all, tell me a little bit about Ride Connection. Anybody that watches the show knows what a great job you do and the services you provide, but could one of you kind of just give me a quick overview of Ride Connection and what your services are? Our services are um, based on human need and the need is for transportation, which is viewed really as one of the paramount basic human needs mm -hmm. um, in our community. So we provide transportation resources for older adults and those with disabilities actually beyond Gresham into the whole Tri-County area. Right, right. So it's a rather large area. Is it? Yes. So Multnomah, Washington, mm -hmm. Clackamas County. If numbers Sorry. speak, if people can equate numbers to people, last year we gave over 410,000 rides. Wow. That's a lot yes. of rides. It's a lot of rides. That's a lot of rides. A lot of moving of people. Yeah, yeah. And, and people use you for all sorts of things. It's not just going to the doctor exactly. or going to the grocery store. What are some of the other things that people use your services for? Um, where, where do they go? Well, you know, the, it varies. I mean, you have husbands or spouses that may be in a nursing home exactly. and they want to go see their They want to go see, see their them. spouse. Yeah, that would be good. Exactly. So we yeah. do quite a few trips. Um, provide quite a few trips that way and then we you know people may want to go to the senior center mm, good example right, right across right. the street Gretchen senior center is right down um, the street yeah. to take classes to have lunch um, mingle with their own peers so so some of it's just social a lot of it's social okay. um, you know to me I, which is I, important it's very important yeah. you know because I can imagine being locked in 24-7 um, mm. myself but so it's it's very important for the seniors to get out and get out in the community um, been known to take people to go see friends, especially during the holidays. Mm. Um, you know, we do do quite a bit of the doctor's appointments, and we do quite a bit of shopping trips. Um, you know, we don't. But the good thing about it is that um, when we're looking at a schedule or something, we tr we don't um, look at. Um, Going grocery shopping is more important than going to visit your husband. Important. It's all yes. important. No every, discrimination. Every, every trip is important to us. I mean, um, so I know it's important to our clients, and so Good. we just try to fulfill um, everyone's request. Good. Well, like Trink said, it's a, it's a human need, or yes. a, you know, to, to, to be transported to wherever you need to go. And if, mm -hmm. if you're at, a, at an age where you are not able to drive anymore, or for a disability or whatever reason you cannot drive anymore, or, um, you know, don't, are not able to see well enough, or just don't have transportation and need right. that extra, if you're not able to take the bus or the max, then, then this is a great alternative that's available. What, um, do, you, do you have regulars? Do you have people that always, that, that uh, are they're there like every week and they're at like clockwork? Or? Yeah, you know, and I guess the good example for us in East County would be the, we have one driver that's designated to take people to and from the county building, which housed the Mills on Wheels mm -hmm. and the Gresham Senior Center. And then they also have um, clinics, um, oh, okay. first and second and third floor. Okay. No, second and third floor. There we go. And so that's You're a on hot the first floor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hot spot. So yeah. um, we're always transporting. So and we have people that regularly volunteer at Meals and Wheels faithfully five days a week. Yes, we do have quite a few regulars that just go there. So are you saying you have people that are volunteers at Meals and Wheels who mm -hmm. ride with Ride Connection yes. to get to their volunteer yes. job? Oh, that's great. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So win win. Yeah, that is. It, it is. is. <laughs> it is. It truly is. That's like we were talking about our last segment, the collaboration between nonprofits. And, oh, absolutely. You know, that's, that's really important. So, Trink, tell me, as a community outreach specialist, what exactly do you do? I have the great privilege of encouraging people to volunteer as primarily drivers. And um, the rewards are so much greater than you know, the time spent, um, the stories that they're able to share and just having the one-to-one -one, um, time with another individual. Yeah. We also offer reimbursement to our drivers mm, and okay. that's important. Yeah. And I thought... Because um, is it their own car, is it sometimes their own car and sometimes not, correct? Right. Okay. People can choose to drive their own car 
or to drive one of our buses, okay. vans. Yeah. Um, and I thought during your last, um, our last paragraph or two ago that our um, customers do not pay for the services of Ride Connection. They are certainly encouraged to give a donation. Mm, okay. and a great Whatever they're thank able you to comfortably and, and, right. and a smile, but that's, that's it. So we're really there um, to assist. Okay, so tell me about the drivers. What does it take to be a driver for Ride Connection? You um, need to have had five years of driving experience. Um, we will do a background check on everyone, a criminal background check. That's good. That's reassuring. Um, we will do a DMV check, and then um, we need to see proof of their, if they are driving their own car, of their own driver's insurance sure. and their driver's license. Okay. And um, most importantly for them, we offer superb training. Oh, how long is program. the training? Is it they a one-time training? Is that... I, no, it's no. ongoing. Um, there's the training. There's um, what we call a couple of in-class trainings, but they know we don't call them class training now because you can do it online. Oh, so yeah. we kind of streamline that. Um, it's a couple of classes that just mandatory to take is best ride and safe at any age. And what those classes do is teach you some basic defensive um, methods of driving, mm -hmm. and then it teaches you how to deal with people with disabilities. Oh. Okay. And um, those classes are required um, either two or three years, depending on your age. And um, because now they're online, you can get it done within an hour and yeah. move on. And, it makes it easier. It makes, it, easy, it, makes it? it a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's so we kind of streamlined that. It's, That's great. It's so, it's so Did much you used to have to teach the classes? No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how well that would go over. No. You know, uh, you'd be great. I would get sidetracked. Yeah. You know, you'd be telling your personal stories. Yeah, exactly. You? So it, it would be a lot longer than what it should be. So no, I don't do that. Now, mm -hmm. Leslie, you have done some driving. I for do Ride a quite a bit of driving. Yeah. I've been with Right Connection uh, approximately seven and a half years now. Yeah. Love my job. I love the people that I interact with. We do a great job. Um, out here in East County, we've been averaging about 1,600 trips a month. Wow, that's so, a lot. So um, it is a lot, yeah. but you know, we are volunteer heavy, so we're able to do that because of the wonderful volunteers that we do have and, and that we need wow. also. Even though we're, that sound like a huge number for a small entity out here, we still have people not able to get their trip requests. Really? So you yes. can still use plenty of drivers. Oh, always. Yeah. So um, it doesn't need to be a commitment of a whole day. Okay, it that was my next question. You, how much of a time commitment is it to become a volunteer? You know, I think the hardest, I think the most time commitment that we require is the upfront, is the trainings. Okay. Um, as far Which as doesn't sound like it's that. No, much it's of a not. Time not commitment. anymore. Yeah. It's, it's great. I, you know, I love it. Um, but. It can vary. Mm -hmm. um, I was just sitting here talking to Trink earlier. Um, you know, we have volunteers. I have a volunteer that drove every day. Wow. Faithfully. That's, a, that's like a full-time job. That is a full-time job, yeah. but it, he enjoyed it, and, yeah. you know, and we loved him for it. And then I have one gentleman that drives maybe once a week. I have a, I'm not quite sure, she works for the school district out here in um, the rental school district, and when she, she volunteers two days a week. Um, after school from 2.30 to 5.30. How great. It's like Wonderful. taking your own hours. That's <laughs> yeah, a, that so, makes it really yes, nice. Exactly. You know, um, and now I just noticed, I was talking to Trink, I said I just noticed that we had a right request for a Saturday, which I didn't even think about Saturdays. And so something that we need to kind of branch out and look at too, because you know, people do need to get to So some have you dogs. not been providing service on Saturdays? No, this is, oh. you know, you know, we do provide a vehicle for Sunday for some of the churches in, uh -huh. in our area, uh -huh. but we've never um, really branched out. To so, a if Saturday. somebody had Saturdays available and wanted to do <laughs> one Saturday a month, would you take oh, as absolutely. little as yes. that? Absolutely, I tell See, people. See, that makes it so much easier to volunteer when you yes. can do that. You know, I mean, it's you know, fun. there is not yeah. a huge commitment. I mean, yeah. you said you're, you're you tell me what you like, and I just work around it. That's great. You know, That's great. Um, so we try to keep it simple and easy. For the driver as possible. Tell me, give me a, give me an example of some something that was fulfilling to you when you were driving, or pe somebody you've worked with, or that you've heard mm. about. That um, you know, it's just some interchange, you know, exchange between the driver and and one of your clients that was. I think truly driven. what Leslie mentioned of a spouse having the great privilege of going to see their spouse, 
in another living situation. I think I that that's, that's perhaps be is hard. There. I mean, yeah. how hard would that be, to, especially if you've lived with somebody for years, you know, yeah. and then to be in a separate place? Exactly. Yeah. We had a situation not too long ago with um, one of our drivers, Michael, um, where um, he was dropping off a Pick, was getting ready to pick up a client from the Gretchen Senior Center. She was taking an exercising class. And she um, said that she felt kind of faint. She started to turn white. Um, he says, well, you know, sit down. We're going to get you home as quickly as possible. And then he got her to the destination. And um, she still looked a little pale. And he was, you know, doing checking her grip and talking to her and see if she was coherent and finally made a decision that he should call 911. Wow. Um, they did come, they did take her to the hospital. She ended up staying a couple of nights. Um, Leslie. So she Thank was God in the first stage there. of having a stroke, yes. Wow. So, you know, it's... <laughs> they do you know, more than just drive they, We do more than just drive. <laughs> you know, we look out for our riders. Yeah. Um, you know, we do, sometimes we may be the only one they see for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, I try to, you know, tell the drivers, if you notice a change, um, physical or mental, um, let me know. We'll contact an emergency contact person and, you know, and let them know what we see and at least put them on notice. Do you do a, a personal interview with these people before they actually start driving for you? We do a, a over the phone over the assessment. Phone interview. Okay. So, so you kind of have an idea how they interact with you, You're with talking about people. drivers or? To drivers. Or, dri drivers. Drivers. Oh. Yeah, we do a personal interview. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. They, because it seems a, like it, it's really a, um, it's a customer service job. It is. You have to so have a love for yeah, people. If you don't have those skills, then mm -hmm. forget it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, and it's, it, you know, people say, well, I've been driving forever and, you know, and that's fine. I's, but it's, 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 it's the lot, personal it's aspect that. that's yeah. that's more important. Yeah. Anyone can be taught to drive. It's that that caring and that understanding and the people that you're going to be serving. Right. That's important, especially for me yeah. to know that um, you know we're in tr trusting with you know vital people in our community, and we want to make sure that they're safe and that you're looking out for the best interests of our clients. Well, and like you said, Leslie, if if this is the only interaction they have with another human being, possibly all day, maybe even yes. all week, right? then it better be a good one, you yes. know? And, and Give them a good smile, you know, ask them how they are. You exactly. Know, talk you know, about, I, I bet. Leslie, you can assure that. Right. I bet you have people that just spill their guts and share their lives because <laughs> they have somebody well, to listen to them. Yeah, yeah you get that too. Yeah. And, then you get and that's some, okay, that's yeah, fun. Yeah, exactly. You can I, I a tell lot of cool people, stuff about people. <laughs> I tell people that, you know, believe it or not, I'm not always a talker and yeah. sometimes I sit there. And, and to me, driving is, you know, especially these days, driving is, can be a little stressful, mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. you know, um, can be rewarding also, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. But my, you know, attentions are on the road. So I always tell people, I say, if you want to talk, go ahead. I'm a good listener. Yeah, that's great. You know, you know um, I have to concentrate, so I won't be responding all the time. Talk, but you no, go ahead, and I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening, yeah, yeah. and 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 in the, in the meantime, I'm keeping you safe and paying attention to the road. That's great. Now, there, you have a few different programs within Ride Connection, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. What, um, what are those? How many do you have? And we details. would love to share um, information about two of our newest programs. Okay. One is our Veterans Transportation Program, and that is focused on veterans and spouses to provide transportation to them. And those that are often the drivers we recruit are veterans themselves. Uh, that's a good, so good there is just there. a beautiful bond. Mm -hmm. Um, but they don't, the drivers do not have to be veterans. They do to, not to, have no, to be. Yeah, okay. no. But they have to feel, you know, a special. They have to appreciate the, right. what, yes. the, what the veterans have Indeed. done for our country. Yeah. And of course yeah. they have. So that program is exciting. It's relatively new. Um, we're able to reimburse our drivers for that to the federal rate, oh, um, right. which is 55 and a half cents a mile. Right. Then, um, the, our other program is um, titled Ride Together. Oh, I don't know about that one. And um, Ride Together allows an individual, um, let us say, um, Leslie has a mother who needs to go places on a regular basis, or not on a regular basis, but really only feels comfortable with Leslie, let us say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And she could ask Leslie to be her driver and Leslie, in turn, would drive her where she needed to be, you know, 24-7, actually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At the end of the month, um, they will compile a monthly uh, log, mileage log, and submit oh. it to us. 
and right direction, and then we will reimburse the driver for wow. 40 cents a mile. That's great. I was doing that for my mom. I didn't know yes. that would have been, you know, that would have been helpful. Right? Yes. Because sometimes it's, it gets expensive, it, 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 it's especially when the expensive. gas rate goes up and down all the time. It does, know? and yeah. it's just such a reassurance for um, the customer to be with those they love and respect yes, and course. can feel comfortable with. Well, especially if they're appointments like medical appointments, which yes. can be scary for anybody, right. no matter what age you are. But those can be yeah. very difficult, or just especially for older people going into situations where they're they're not you know they don't feel comfortable that's it's a really good to have a family member or somebody they trust to have them along yeah. so we have family members we have next door neighbors we have um, the full spectrum of individuals who are able to and wish to be drivers for right. their special people so how does that work if 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 i say had a next door neighbor who um, needed my assistance once a week. What, what about if it was something just like going to the store? Mm -hmm. Would it, something like that qualify? Mm -hmm. I, yes. I want yes. to take that person once a week to the store. Perfect. Do I just call you and, and what happens? Yes. Um, you would call and you would get a packet of information sent to you, the, all the application materials and such okay. needed. And is it, is, are the requirements the same as your volunteer yes. drivers? So yes. you have to pass the background check and the DMV check exactly. and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yes. And That's then great. to do the monthly um, log, and, and so you just turn the monthly, you turn the log in once mm -hmm. a month. That's pretty easy. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's very fairly yeah. easy. Yes, yeah. it's good example. This is so weird. I um, I have a friend that was going to the Catholic Cascade Athletic Club, uh -huh. and he says, you know, I've been taking this lady home every now and then. I said, really? And um, I said, huh, that name sounds familiar. So I'm thinking. I know who she is. <laughs> so I said, oh, that's one of our writers. So I talked to him. I said, hey, you're taking her home anyway. Why don't you sign up to be a volunteer driver? And uh, he says, really? I said, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so well, yeah, <laughs> so um, find out he was taking someone else home. He's taking about three people home. Wow. Out of the goodness of his heart. Yes. And so I said, we can help you. Now, when you go, I just need you to pick up these people on the way and drop them off. That is so And great. I said, so he says, really? And I said, all you do is just teach class. And he says, oh, okay, I'm sold. So That's he's great. been doing this for about a couple of months now. I love it. And, and it's working out. It's working out. And he even, um, I seen him not too long ago, and he says, Leslie, you know, I probably could do a couple more yeah. rides. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, people ask you for a ride and, and you want to do it, but it's like, okay, well, I got this so much, much gas, gas left in my yes. tank and I don't have any money, you know, yeah, to buy any. Perfect. So that's a great opportunity for somebody to help somebody out yet not yeah. really hurt themselves. In the right. Same so I, you know, that's, a, I, I use that example because it's, it's funny because people don't think about that, mm -hmm. but that is a good example yeah. of how we can help, you know, because some, because this one gentleman that he was taken home lived about six miles the opposite direction. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, so it wasn't convenient it, for It him. wasn't as convenient, you yeah. know. He says, oh, I don't mind doing it, which is fine, but, you know, it does yeah. Yeah. hit the pocketbook yeah, sure does. quite a bit. So these are things that when people say, well, you know, I do do that. Hey, maybe I should call Bright yeah, Connection yeah, to see if I, love I can it. get that's really a, That's one of those thinking outside the box things, you know, that coming up with that idea. I think that's a great one. Love it. We're just about out of time. Is there anything else that we need to know about Ride Connection before we... It's we, the best yeah. place to volunteer. It sounds great. I love the, uh, the flexibility. Yes. yes. The that's flexibility wonderful. and Good. just the human connection Good. is... It's, it's worthwhile. Yes, it is Good. worthwhile and Terrific. greatly needed. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Trink. Thank you, Leslie, so much thank for you. being on here today. And thanks for watching Community Hotline tonight. Hope you've enjoyed hearing about Ride Connection and the, the great volunteer opportunities they have. You can see that there's, a, there's something for everybody who's a good driver out there and want to help out. This, this might be the opportunity you've been looking for. So please do contact them if you are interested or if you're in need of a ride. That's one place you should check out. Thanks for watching this edition of Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We'll see you next week.